hello guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to change question color in kobo toolbox if you want to change the font style of your question you can do that in kobo toolbox you can change it to any color that you want so what we are going to be building is going to be similar to this where we are going to be learning how to change the font family in Kobo Tubo. So we are going to be learning how to change the font style, how to change the color or the font family in Kobo Tubo. So you can see we have different color. Here we have blue color, we have red color, we have different type of color. You can see. So this is we are going to be learning how to style our questions in Kobo Tubo. So the first thing that I'm going to do is let me just write out the simple syntax that we are going to be using in this uh, video it's going to be html syntax which is uh which is called the hypertext markup language syntax so it's going to be like this span and there will be a space in between where we have a style and the style will be equal to apostrophe and inside the apostrophe will be having color if you want to change the color then colon then the colon will be there and the color we can see red or blue or yellow or any type of color or using different rgb then we'll be ending it with semicolon and we'll close the apostrophe then we use backslash to end it in between it, we now have another apostrophe of the test that we want to change. Let's say we want to change this test. Then we close the apostrophe. We end it with this backslash span and end it with this. So if we want to change uh, the color, this is what we are going to use. And if we want to change, if we want to change the font style, then after this semicolon, we had something like this we have the fonts then i think we can say style i think style then style then colon the name of the style let's say we want to change it to italic then we say italic and if you want to change if you want to change the font family we use the same font then we put family then colon if we want to change it to monospace we can say monospace and we can also change it to bell empty we can change it to cursive or any type of font so let's jump into it so what we are going to be doing is to click on new and click on build from scratch and i'm going to name it font style and I will leave this empty. You can write whatever you want. So I'm going to use other sector and I'm going to use Nigeria. And I'm going to click on create project and it's going to take me to the form builder interface. So I'll click on this button. So let me just write out something simple like uh, we, let's say we are uh, conducting we are conducting a survey. We are conducting a survey aim at tracking, tracking, let's say tracking SDG, sustainable development goal goals in Africa. So I'm going to click on add question and i'm going to click on notes now to style this i can just say that um, backslash span then in between i'm going to say style and the style will be equal to apostrophe if i want to change the color i say color colon then let's see red then semicolon and close it then i'll close it with backslash then the name the test that i want to change let me first of all say sample and i can use emoji in between the sample 
let me just copy this and paste it here then close it then close it with this backslash span and let me end it with this so this is um i want if i want to change the color i'm going to say span style equal the color inside apostrophe and i'm going to end it with semicolon and i'm going to close it then i will add the text that i want to change then i will close it with this part right i'll close it with this part then i'm going to click on add question and let me use notes then i'm going to save and i'm going to click on preview to preview the form so let's see what's going to bring out so you can see we have the color change to red you can see the sample change to red right so and if we want to change this to another color let me change it to blue let me change it to blue and let me just remove this apostrophe here i'm going to remove it and click on save then let me click on preview and see what's going to happen you can see this in blue color now if we want to change the font style we can just put in between this we can see font i think style style font style then colon and change it to italic and let's see what's going to be what's going to look like so this is going to change the sample to italic so let me save it and click on preview so you can see this is in italic also if we want to change uh the font family i can just say space i can use colon and say font i think family family then colon and i'm going to change it to let me look for a font that i can use let me go to excel and let me see let me look for something like uh bell bell empty so let me copy this copy this bell empty go back and i'm going to paste it here then i'll click on save so let's see what's going to happen i'm going to click on preview to preview the form so it has changed to bell empty you can see the font style so i can also look for another um, another style let me change it to probably uh let's see cobel i'm going to copy this and paste it here let me change it in between the bell empty i'm going to paste it and i'm going to save it then i'll go to preview to preview the form and this has changed that is how to change font in kobo toolbox so i can also select all this let me close all this and paste it in between this space let me delete this and see and let's see how it's going to look like you can see we are conducting the survey aimed at tracking sdg goals in africa so that is how to change font style or color in kubo 2